Today I'm going to show you how to use the Have a Heart live animal cage trap. <clears throat> As you can see this trap is designed for squirrels, chipmunks, and weasels. This is what they consider the small size cage. They also have a medium and a large. <clears throat> you could also catch mouse and squirrels in this trap but they may not be able to set the trigger off. Now I'll show you how it works. So this is what the trap looks like. To set the trap, it's real simple. You press this down, it goes under that bar there, and then it locks in place. <clears throat> That's where you set the food underneath there and this goes off when they hit that and what will happen is the trap will spring shut I'll show you real quick, like that and then you've caught your animal now I I did a live stream if you look on my channel you can watch the live stream where we caught a squirrel we have a squirrel problem in our backyard they're getting up in our attic and on our back porch so we did a live stream the first time and I made a few mistakes and after an hour and a half I finally caught one. And one of the mistakes I made was you have to set the door lock. These are the door locks. That's all you do. You just set the trap, put the door locks up, and then when the doors go down, the door locks go into this little groove here and the animal can't get out. What I did, and you'll see in a minute, because I'm going to show you my test results edited down. <clears throat> when the door lock went down and I didn't have it set, the animal was able to get out. Now, if you were catching a mouse or a squirrel, they probably couldn't get out. It would probably hold them down. But with the door lock in place, the door will not go up at all. And you definitely catch it. One other tip I'd like to mention is I'm using peanut butter, which squirrels absolutely love, and most rodents like peanut butter. <clears throat> you can use cheese or something else, but sometimes they come in and the trap won't go off, and they'll get uh, some of the food and go right back out the trap. With the peanut butter, you can spread it on the top of the, uh, the trigger part, and that kind of forces them to push down on that trigger part and it's more likely to set the trap off. All right, now uh, what happened in the test run that you'll see right now, the first two times when I read the instructions, I read how to set the trap, but I never read about setting the door locks, so I didn't set them. So the first two attempts, the squirrel was able to force its way out. Then I found out that I needed to set the door locks. <clears throat> the third attempt, the squirrel wasn't completely inside the trap, so the trap went off and came down on its back, and he just got out. And then finally, after an hour and a half on the fourth attempt, we caught him. It seems that once the trap went out and I reset it, it only took about 15 or 20 minutes, and they came right back because they love that peanut butter. And thanks for watching this video and enjoy the next part and please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to watch the live version of the squirrel trap. Thank you.
just an update since that first squirrel that you saw we finally caught two days later we have now caught a total of five I think I see one more running around so I think we just about got rid of them so the trap does work you just have to be patient it probably goes off you know at one out of every three or four times is when you'll finally catch them but if you just keep resetting it eventually you'll get them this guy is now off to the park to join his friends.